That's me. And this is my friend Wade. And we traveled halfway across the world to visit 16 theme parks in 20 days, all across the United States of America. We give you our full ride reviews. <laughs> wow. Favorite ride ever. We bring you on ride. <laughs> and give you our full thoughts on every single theme park we visited. Wow. Such a good park. Incredible park. This is the USA Theme Park Road Trip 2023. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. We're here at King's Dominion today. So excited. Uh, there's 13 roller coasters for us to get on today, including an RMC I really want to get on today, Twisted Timbers. Looks absolutely incredible. Packed with ejector at time I've heard. And also, we might be blacking out today. <laughs> We're gonna get on Intimidator 305, their Giga Coaster, our first ever Giga Coaster. Unfortunately, we missed Fury yesterday. But yeah, it looks very intense. So, oh, yeah. are you ready for it? Pumped. Let's go get inside King's Dominion. All right, we're inside the park and I must say the main entrance looks absolutely beautiful with the fountains there, the Eiffel Tower down at the end there. And yeah, it looks, looks really stunning. You like the entrance? It looks good, eh? Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, we're going to make our way towards the back, similar to yesterday. Hopefully the rides are open today. Um, and yeah, we'll see you when we get down towards the back of the park. Well, as we're making our way down, I can already tell that this park is a lot more lush than Carowinds that we were at yesterday. <laughs> nice, greenery, and yeah, we're, we're not gonna make our way to Intimidator 305 first. We're gonna save that for a bit later, work our way up to it because my head <laughs> is not ready for it. We're gonna start off the day with the park's RMC, Twisted Timbers. So we'll see you when we get there. And here's a look at Twisted Timbers. The RMC opened here in 2018. I've heard it's got incredible ejector air time. There it goes. Oh, cannot wait. Keen to get on this one, Wade? Let's go for a ride. there on Twisted Timbers and what can I say one word smooth oh well two, two words smooth and ejector oh my god ejector after ejector after ejector after ejector yeah it's a great ride for me it fall in in terms of RMCs it falls just behind Air Force One for me what about you yeah yeah I'd say so yeah. I, I take Air Force One just a bit more than this one but yeah it's so smooth and that ejector is insane all right, it's now time for a ride on the park's Wild Mouse, opened here in 2002. It's Apple's Apple. Looks a bit better than the one we did at Carowinds yesterday, so yeah, let's go for a ride. just been for our ride there on Apple Zapple and I'd say that layout is better than the one we did yesterday. Oh yeah. Um, very similar to Scooby-Doo. Yeah, very similar to Scooby-Doo back home. Um, obviously I'd take Scooby-Doo over that because of the theming. Yeah. But yeah, it's an okay ride. It was smooth up until the brake and then we just got slammed into the brakes there. Our ribs are hurting after that one. But one um, and one and done on to the next. All right, we're going for a ride on Grizzly Wooden Coaster here, opened in 1982. 
And yeah, it looks very in the trees here. Hopefully it's a smooth woody. What I'm noticing about today, rather than yesterday, is rides are open when the park's open. How good. <laughs> Just had our ride there on Grizzly 1982, and I would say first half awesome. Yeah. First half is awesome. That we weren't ready for that first drop. We we're in the back row. The first drop in the back row was incredible. Um, second half rough. Yes, very rough. Very rough. Um, oh yeah, I was going around. And I was like, this is a great Woody, and then we hit the second half, and I was like, oh, it's a bit rough. But um, it was okay. Um, probably not one I'd ride again, but. Um, Solid enough. Yeah, solid enough, yeah. All right, it's time for a ride now on Racer. This wooden coaster opened in 1975. Um, it's a racing wooden coaster, so there's two sides to it. Um, this, will, this will be our first racing coaster of the trip. So um, it's actually two credits. So if you do both sides, it's actually two credits. Now, I, I personally only count it as two if they're t different from each other. If they're exactly the same, I just count it as one credit. But um, that's just me. You can count it however you would like to. But um, yeah, let's go for a ride here on Racer here at King's Dominion. And so as you can see, you can either pick the far side or the close side here. I think it's north and south is how they do it. Or west and east, I'm not too sure. But um, red train, uh, blue train, sorry. And red train. Just had our ride there on Racer. What do you think? Yeah. Solid Woody. Yeah. We thought it was going to be rough, um, but it was actually very smooth. Um, a lot bigger than what we thought it was going to be, but um, yeah, because you can't really see the the layout from the entrance there. You can only um, you can only see the lift hill, and that's about it. But um, yeah, it's a solid Woody and quite smooth. We've come for some food now. We, we're not going to eat too much because we want to save our stomachs for a couple of coasters after this, especially Tumbili that is just right outside this restaurant here. And you've got the, the old snag and I think it's fried bread, is it? Yep. So yeah, I've gone with the mac and cheese fried bread. And I might just mention before we leave, this, this restaurant actually has really good theming. I think it's it might be new, um, Tumbili, it opened here last year in 2022, so I feel like they might have put in this restaurant to go along with the ride there. But yeah, really good theme inside this restaurant here. And here's a look at Tumbili. 
we're gonna bypass this for now because we just ate <laughs> but um yeah i'd say this area they've done really well with the area they've got nice theme music and um yeah really well done king's dominion this this ride looks pretty well themed too looks looks really good what do you think wade pretty well themed Very well themed. this is their new area for for uh come in last year so yeah no really well done we're going to head on to Reptilian now. This is a Mack Rides bobsled coaster opened here in 1988. And yeah, this is going to be our first bo ever bobsled coaster. We're getting a lot of firsts this trip. It's good. So let's go for a ride on Reptilian. Just had our ride there on Reptilian, the park's bobsled coaster opened in 1988. And yeah, it's a weird, weird. That's weird. Yeah. No, no track. No track at all. It's just, I mean, it's smooth. I guess it has to be smooth. There's no track. Yeah. <laughs> but um, weird riding position, I want to say. Uh, good if you're a couple, I want to say, but a bit weird for us. Um, yeah, it was okay. Good family coaster, I would say. Yeah. But um, yeah, on to the next. All right, we're going to come for a ride here on Anaconda. Manufactured by Arrow, opened in 1991. And yeah, this one goes out over the lake here. And hopefully it's smooth. Arrow's a, I'd say Arrow's a 50-50 if you're gonna get a smooth ride or not, but um, yeah. Not a fan of their restraints, but hopefully it rides okay. Let's go for a ride. had a ride there on Anaconda and the only thing good I can say about that ride is the location over the water yeah everything else that's it one and done we'll see you later Anaconda <laughs> well we're almost at the big one Intimidator 305 that's just off to the right there looks absolutely huge but first we're gonna go for a ride on Flight of Fear now Flight of Fear is an indoor coaster manufactured by Premier Rides opened in 1996 not too sure what it is to be honest so yeah we'll go for a ride and we'll let you know how it was when we come off all right we've just had our ride there on flight of fear indoor roller coaster i want to say that might be the same layout as rock and roller coaster at disney um yeah, it throws you around a bit yeah um but it's a solid ride you we, we kind of didn't know what what was going to happen and yeah. it kind of launches you into the second warehouse i want to say the really tall warehouse and um does a couple of inversions and um, it's okay not smooth but 
It's all right. Ops were good. You didn't know when you were going to launch. Yeah, that's right. The the, uh, the ride up there was teasing us, saying three, two, one. Just kidding. <laughs> nah, it was pretty good there. Not too bad. Ops there. They have an unload station as well as the load station, so it makes the ops a bit faster, which is good to see. But yeah, solid ride. Well, the time has finally come. Intimidator 305. 305 feet tall, 300 foot drop. Wow, it looks absolutely insane off-ride. Just look at it. Wow. One of the most intense roller coasters on earth. Are we going to black out? Probably. But um, we'll let you know when we come off our ride here on Intimidator 305. Hill. Holy! Well, yeah. first we went on row five. Uh, in the middle somewhere. In the middle somewhere. Because uh, this one was a bit nervous. <laughs> Not even. A bit of nervous. I had a bit of nervous too. <laughs> that ride is intense. Um, after my first ride, I was like, mid. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, you, what, what do you think? I thought it was enjoyable. Yeah, enjoyable. But we went around for a second time, went on the back. And then went around for the third time and went on the front. Holy day in the front. Oh my gosh, that's a front row ride for me. The speed. The speed you get, all the wind coming into you. Whew, that is insane. Oh yeah. After that first drop, you slightly turn a corner. Yeah. Keep going. Your Lo vision. Lose some vision. <laughs> goes down and down and down until you hit this airtime hill just here. As soon as I got over the airtime hill, my vision came back. Yeah, same. <laughs> but it goes down, 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 and then comes back. And then I pick up where, where we left off. <laughs> and it, yeah, the transitions on there, so whippy. Because you're going so fast. So good. Like S-Bends just swing. Oh. It started as a top 10 ride for me after that first ride. It's now probably in my top five. Might creep my way into the top three, actually. Not for you? No. Nah. Not that good. Oh, you it's say enjoyable, it. but not that good. Enjoyable, that okay, okay. That that's your opinion. <laughs> Mine is probably top five. I don't know where it sits in the top five, but that is an insane roller coaster. Holy, probably on the on the brink of what a human can handle. <laughs> I would say, but yeah, what an insane coaster. All right, we're also here with Brian. Yeah, now, is this your home park or Bush Gardens? Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens. And you're up here for the day? Yes, sir. Yeah, how's Intimidator 305? Good. It's insane, isn't it? It's insane. So you've got a YouTube channel as well, don't you? Yes. Yeah, what is it? Brian Pascal. Brian Pascal. Go subscribe, guys. Absolute legend. Nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting you, too. All right, we're coming for a ride here on Tumbili. The new coaster opened last year. It's an SNS and s 40 free, uh, free spin coaster. And yeah, I'm going to go on this one alone. Wade isn't a fan. <laughs> Um, it's it's similar to a flat ride. I would say it's almost a flat ride. Um, it is technically a coaster, but yeah, it's it's uh, flips you around a lot, and yeah, Wade's not keen on this one. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty crazy. Anyway, let's go for a ride.
just been for my ride there on Tumbili, the SNS 40 free spin coaster, and I didn't actually get a flip on that. Um, I'm not sure how it works, but um, it's quite intense. It feels like you're in a washing machine, or I don't know, it just <laughs> spins you around heaps. But um, yeah, I didn't get a flip on it. Unfortunately, it probably would have been a bit better if I got a flip on it, but um, I've seen some other people going around and they're getting flips, so I'm not sure how it works, if it's weight or anything like that, but it's a solid ride. It was smooth, so can't complain. I've got some really great theming in this area. Yeah! Oh! That's crazy! <laughs> Alright, it's time for a ride on the Bat Clot Stunt Coaster. Manufactured by Premier Rides, opened here in 2006. Yeah, it looks like a really good family coaster. Let's go check it out. had a ride there on the back lot stunt coaster and yeah it's a great family coaster I would say. I'd say so yeah. Uh, we haven't done many family coasters today I don't think no. so it's probably a great fit for this park um, and the fire in there is awesome we love fire yeah. yeah. and then the drop into the dark tunnel it's pitch black in there can't really see much and no. yeah it's awesome that bit's awesome so great family coaster. Well we've got three more roller coasters to get on today Two being just down here. Actually, I think they're, they're all three here. Yep. So Dominator, the b and Flawless, Woodstock Express, and then some kitty pumpkin coaster that Wade isn't going to go on because it's manufactured by ENF Miller. <laughs> he loves an ENF Miller. He, lo he loves watching me on it because I get shaken around a bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll make our way around here and um, go on one of these. Well, there's great views of Dominator, the B&M Flawless Coaster, around this section of the park. We'll get to that one soon. We're going to go on Woodstock Express now, this blue wooden coaster just here. I'm pretty sure it's a clone of the one we did yesterday at Carowinds, but um, we both enjoyed it a lot. It was quite smooth, so yeah, let's go for a ride on Woodstock Express. Woodstock Express. I didn't think it could get smoother than yesterday, but I reckon that was smoother. What do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. That, I, I, I couldn't believe it. That, that ride is so smooth. That's a great family coaster, I would say. Just a bit, if you're taller, like yeah. Wade is, it might, what did you do, hit your knee? Yeah, hit my knee. Yeah, so the trains are a bit smaller, but um, it's great, great family coaster, but just watch yourself if you're taller. Yeah. All right, it's time to ride the Great Pumpkin Coaster, manufactured by ENF Miller. Wait, you're not coming on. Come on, it's a great manufacturer. What do you mean? This has been the, the theme of the trip. Ian F. Miller. Wade loves them. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a ride. Hopefully it's smooth. And here it is, the great pumpkin coaster. Off it goes. Through the big pumpkin here. Woo! Now you might be wondering why I am not on. Unfortunately, you need a kid to ride, so I can't get on probably the best coaster here at King's Dominion. 
That's so unfortunate because I was so keen to get on that. The best manufacturer in the game, Enid Miller. I can't get on, unfortunately. But we will get on Dominator, so let's go to Dominator. All right, it's time to ride Dominator, the park's B&M flawless coaster. Opened here in 2008. Looks like a really good layout, actually. That loop is absolutely massive. But yeah, let's go for a ride on Dominator. Just had our ride there on Dominator, the park's being at flawless and mid. Mid. mid yeah. Mid, mid. mid flawless. It's not flawless. I mean it is, but it's it's not flawless. It's mid. Um Kraken on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kraken at SeaWorld Orlando. Ten times better in my opinion. Yeah. But um yeah, that was our last coaster to get on. So um we're gonna wrap up the day and we'll see you outside the park. Well, that wraps up our day here at King's Dominion. It's a nice park, I'd say. Yeah. Some really good theming in there, actually. Um, surprised me, to be honest. Yeah. Um, standouts for me would have to be two. Two for me, I reckon. Twisted Timbers, the first one we got on. Yep. And then Intimidate 305. Of course. I would say, for me, Intimidate 305 was my favorite at the park. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so it, be it beats Twisted Timbers for you? Yeah. Twisted Timbers has amazing ejector air time, don't get me wrong. At it's and, and it's what I personally like. I like ejector airtime, but that speed on Intimidator 305 is unmatched. Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible. I can't really remember five seconds after we hit the the turn, but <laughs> it's still what my it means. It's a good ride. So it means it's a good ride. Yeah, it means it's it, it means it's got insane amount of speed and intensity and yeah, one of my favorite in my top five. Not my one, but um, it's an incredible coaster. But yeah, that wraps up our day here at King's Dominion. It's been an awesome day. Pretty much walk on for most things today. So we, yeah, we had a great day. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Go down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. And yeah, tomorrow or in the next video you guys are watching, we'll be at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. We're gonna get on-ride footage for you guys. So back to on-ride footage, which I know you guys like. Yeah. We like it too, oh, yeah. so um, yeah. We'll see you guys there. But thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>